Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the DAX this morning? So for the next couple of weeks, we are focusing on a different strategy, um, pretty much my own strategy, which uh, let's just call it the league F strategy for now. Um, it's a moving average strategy. It's a 9 and 26 smooth moving average combined with a 9 and 26 smooth stochastics and then a momentum index of 14 uh, inside a Bollinger Band. Okay. Um, pretty much the rules are very simple when you get a grouping and a crossover of the stochastics and we're at a level with some uh, price action that indicates a change in direction that is a long so if you group to the bottom and what you also want to do is you want to see the momentum index stepping out of the bollinger band or at the bottom of the bollinger band so you use it for diversions and bollinger diversions okay so and the converse is true on the top. So if you get a, a grouping at the top like that, and you're at a level, there's a warning bell that um, we're going to be moving the downside. Okay, so that's kind of um, how we use it. So, so oh, I think let's just, I don't want to go to the four hour, I think. We can start there. Okay, so last week we had a really uh, frustrating and confusing week okay so we started off with this consolidation range we first broke the downside then we broke the upside and then we broke the downside again okay so frustrating uh, I think you know just get rid of those levels because clearly that was not seen as a consolidation range um, then you have this and I'm going to take it from there to there and now we have this um, megaphone formation Okay, so technically it is still a consolidation, but you can see how the beginning of the week, very little movement, and then extreme volatility. This downward move on Friday was based on Italy. So you know, Italy was causing trouble in the markets, and uh, Italy, there was a run on the Italy uh, bond market, in actual fact, which is what caused this. So, okay, so what we're looking for, and you can see here how these oscillators group, they do group, can group for a long time, you can see how we stepped out of the Bollinger, then we made another high, okay? So price made new highs, but the oscillator is diversions with the grouping, and we were at a level. So there was your warning of one of two things, either going to turn, move to the downside, or consolidate. And because the trend was up, you know, it's very difficult, well, not difficult, but um, it's hard for price to just turn. Okay, remember what I say, V reversals are rare. So you can see a lot of consolidation and then a move. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty much still confused as to which direction we're going to go. So logic says to me that we should, um, well, we are going to gap up based on what's happening, um, based on what China did this morning. So it will be a, a holiday in China. They did announce that they are reducing import tariffs on quite a number of uh, products from around the globe. So that is a... You know, obviously, the, the people that are trading at the moment see that as good news, and they've bought into the markets. So, as we stand at the moment, the Dow, sorry, the DAX is up by half a percent. So we're sitting at uh, twelve to seven, twelve to seven eight. So we're pretty much looking for a gap up at the moment around here well, let's just leave it there because that is a previous breakout okay so let's just get down to the half hour so we can see if there's anything here you know for me this is where we are now is a fairly reasonable area to get in long okay and again I'm I'm still bullish and the reason I'm bullish is because this is a still a pretty solid move up and you can see how the moving average holds up price as well okay the only concern that i do have is that you do have a crossover of these stochastics and um, although they're not grouped this is also a fairly um signal fairly good signal you can see here they're far apart where they crossed over and you had a serious fall off and we're also outside the bollinger band here so you know this is a a warning to me that yeah, we could be moved there could be more downside Okay, but the price action from 
price action perspective, move up, consolidation, megaphone, um, there is a potential that we get a second move up. Now, the validation of that second move is going to be a break above this high here of 12.455. Okay. So, I think um, we know we're going to gap up, so I would wait for the European Open and then possibly look for an entry at the gap close, if we can get the gap close. Okay. Look for a long, but I'm going to keep a very tight stop. So your, your stop needs to be um, below one, what are we, half hour. So either below 12,200 or below 12,184. Okay. So that's the area where I'll be looking to put a stop in. And um, currently where we are now, that's a 93 point stop loss. Okay, so so yeah, I think the, the easiest way to do this right now is hop onto a 12 or 15 minute chart and um, look along the oscillators for a grouping and what you're looking for is moving average crossover as well. And you can see when you get the crossover, same rules apply. So it's the exact same as what the Bull Williams operates. You have a crossover, a move, then you have a test of this break. Okay, remember the moving averages are seen as levels, and then you see the test is successful, and we move. Then you can see how it utilizes these levels, especially on the 12 minutes. You can see how these levels are utilized. Okay, so that's kind of my view on this at the moment. I'm kind of in a, um, well, definitely in a confused state. I'm not entirely convinced we're going to move to the upside, and I'm not entirely convinced we're going to move to the downside. But um, my bias at the moment is to the upside, and purely because we have a megaphone formation and we're on the bottom of the megaphone. Okay, that's the only reason. But obviously I want to keep a tight stop, and I'll break below these uh, previous lows of Friday, then that is a break of the megaphone to the downside, and then you can expect a lot more downside to come. Okay, so for now I'm looking for longs, and... Uh, Definitely don't want to trace it at the levels that we're at the moment. So wait for the European Open, see what happens down the bottom here, and then get in with a long. Okay, so that's kind of my view on this at the moment. And I can't give you many levels because we are above uh, 12 to 68 at the moment, or 12 to 70, let's call it, rounded off. Yeah, 12 to, 12 to 70. So I'd like price to come back back to this 12,270 or even close the gap before we can get in long again. Okay, so that's kind of my view on this. Not something that I want to chase at the open. I'd rather wait for some form of consolidation. And if we don't get it today, we don't get it today. You know, you'll get some kind of a bounce off the top here, off uh, 12,468 or 12,470. And if you get a bounce off there, you wait for that pullback and uh, get back in. Okay, so that's kind of uh, the way I'm looking at this at the moment. Um, and you see even on the hour a, a move up to where we are at the moment, a gap up here, validates a double bottom. Okay, so this double bottom would mean a move to the upside and a double bottom target, probably going to target this area here. Work it out exact, just above it. Okay, ties up with this inside tail here. Okay, so that's kind of my view on it. Um, looking for a long, and my first target is going to be twelve three sixty. My second target will be uh, the previous high here of twelve four fifty five. And then my third target would be 12.4, um, probably around 12.480. You need to extend this line. Okay. So that's kind of my view on this. If you look at the hour, we've got a grouping and a crossover the oscillators. We stepped out of the Bollinger Band here. We've got diversions. We've got Bollinger diversions and normal diversions. So everything is um, looking fairly rosy for a move to the upside. Okay. So that's kind of... Um, my view on the DAX this morning. 
So we'll wait for the gap up. It should hit some resistance somewhere along the line. Pull back, start forming some patterns for us, and then give us an opportunity to get in long. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, that's my view on the DAX. I hope it helps, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Enjoy your day. Cheers for now.